Do you think it hurts? Hurts? I could feel Savathun behind my eyes when she reached into my mind. What do you think these high feel when we reach into theirs? I also find the Scion's methods unsettling, but they can uncover Savathun's plans more efficiently than I ever could. Better to just put them out of their misery. Keitel believes these Hive might hold deeper secrets. Do not make the mistake of thinking these things deserve your sympathy. Even though they have the light? Maybe you were the wrong person to put on this assignment. They may be our enemies, but this feels like a new low for the Vanguard. For Zavala. Watch your mouth. You knew Light sees Zavala as some toothless diplomat, but you wouldn't believe what he sacrificed to become the man he is. Someone who will make the hard choice, and make sure his people understand why. And I can't wait to hear the speech about all this. You want a speech? Today the Vanguard did what had to be done. Mercy prevailed. Speech over. Say it a little louder. I don't think this guy could hear you. <sighs> this doesn't look like mercy to me. Then you're not looking hard enough. ago, even before there was a last city, I was deep on patrol in the old forest, when a local villager sought me out. They asked me to catch a thief. I told them the Iron Lords were no mercenaries, but I saw their pride as well as their poverty, and they offered me a loaf of black bread instead of coin. I agreed just before sunrise. I caught my thief. A young girl, stealing what she could carry. Food when she could find it, coin when she couldn't, weapons to protect what she had taken. There was no fear in her eyes. She said the bandits in the forest ordered her to steal in exchange for protection. The penalty for theft in those times was death. Instead, I pulled the crest from around my neck and pressed it into her hands. I told her the wolves would protect her. In a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found the bandits and cut them down. 38 lives to spare one. And for a time, I believed that was mercy. Many winters passed before I found myself back in that part of the old forest. This time, no one sought me out. So I sought them instead. Wind blew through rotted wood and rusted metal where the village once stood. And behind it, graves then piled stones, then bare mounds of earth, and then... a pit. My blood was high. I tore through the forest, hunting for those responsible. Finally, in a settlement rich with stolen supplies, I found her. A lightless woman with my crest around her neck. There was no fear in her eyes. She spoke plainly. When the villagers could no longer tithe, her wolves no longer protected them. She bled them dry, and when they had no more to give, she sent in her men, unleashed her wolves. Mercy to an enemy cannot come at the cost of mercy for their victims. 
The right path isn't always easy to find. But once you do, the only question is whether you're strong enough to walk it. Consider that the next time you feel pity for our enemies.